This is our demo deadlift. And whenever we hear the term deadlift, whenever you hear the term deadlift, I'd like you to immediately be thinking about a hinging motion where we are bending not at the waist but at the hip with the butt going back. The knees are gonna need to bend to unlock the hamstring so that we can hinge at the hip, but the knees are secondary. It is really primarily about this movement coming from the hip crease when we go into a deadlift. The dimmel deadlift for our purposes means three things. One, we're gonna start from the top, so Janelle will pick up the dumbbell and start from the top. Two, we have a little bit of knee bend, but we're not adding any more knee bend as we go. And third, this is the intention. My goal as you do your dimmel deadlifts is that you are feeling your hamstrings, that your brain sees the back of your leg lighting up pretty loudly. If you're just getting started, this may actually be hard to do. You may find that you're imbalanced left and right. You may be able to do the movement, but you just don't feel your hamstrings. For right now, don't worry about it. It's always something we can work on later, but we just wanna start working on that hinge pattern as part of our warm up. So I'll have Janelle actually face sideways so you guys can see her from the side. You're gonna learn a lot more that way. So she's gonna bring the dumbbell up. She'll grab underneath the plates like that, or you could do this with a kettlebell. You've got options. Will you turn 90 degrees for us? So Janelle's feet are hip width and she could even turn her toes in a couple of degrees. As long as it doesn't bother her knees, I'm okay with that position. She's gonna give her knees just a little bit of a soft bend. If she was wearing sweatpants or looser pants like mine, we shouldn't even see her knee bend. And then she is going to start pushing her, her butt back as she hinges at this hip crease. Pause here for me. We noticed that the shape of her back didn't change at all. She didn't lift her chest, she didn't tuck down, and then come back up. And go ahead and push back, come on down. We don't care how low we go with this. Give me one more and then stay in that bottom position. And what we're looking for is tension or connection really anywhere from the glute down to the back of the knee, maybe even a little bit into the calves. Janelle has got a little bit of a twitch going on right now. I won't lie, that's a pretty good sign. Those are our dimmel deadlifts. Thanks, Janelle.